Let's talk now about George Papadopoulos. The big news yesterday was that two Trump campaign staffers were arrested, indicted, charged with really serious crimes, Paul Manafort and Rick Gates. That made the biggest headlines. But we also learned yesterday that this other guy named George Papadopoulos was not only indicted, but had already pleaded guilty earlier this month. Now, why is that huge? It connects Donald Trump directly to the Russia scandal through Carter Page. Wait, David, hold on. You got to back up. Carter Page, George Papadopoulos. What are you talking about? Let's take it in pieces. Number one, fewer headlines. But George Papadopoulos pled guilty for lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russia specifically. OK, Trumpists are saying, well, the meetings and the things that George Papadopoulos did weren't illegal. Only the lying was. Well, we don't know that, right? I mean, first of all, he may only have been charged with the lying because he agreed to cooperate. Secondly, if the meetings were no big deal, why would he lie about them in the first place to protect others, protect himself? It's not really clear. It doesn't make sense. You would lie if there was no particular reason to lie. And lastly, he's cooperating and taking others down. So the idea that we can glean whether or not illegal activity took place other than the lying, this is a proactive cooperator. What that means is, by the way, legal experts have, have written that the fact that Papadopoulos was a proactive collaborator suggests that either he was wearing a wire after his initial July, July arrest or that he was uh, volunteering to have all of his communications surveilled, which means that this is probably just a very small piece of the bigger picture here. And that's exactly what we've heard, actually, from Justice Department officials. So we this is part of a bigger investigation and we're going to learn about that. So we've got Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos has a contact that's referred to as the professor. I mean, this reads like a spy novel, right? The professor became interested in talking to George Papadopoulos after it became known that Papadopoulos was working for the Trump campaign. So that is a direct connection to the campaign. And there's a sort of necessary interlude here. The Trump campaign continues to pretend, as Sarah Huckabee Sanders did during yesterday's press briefing, that this George Papadopoulos guy was merely uh, you know, he was basically a waiter. He was running and getting coffee. You hear Sarah Huckabee Sanders saying he was a volunteer. It's nonsense, right? They make it seem as though Papadopoulos was involved in nothing important. One of hundreds or maybe thousands of random people who just showed up to help. But we have the information. Trump referred to this guy as a top foreign policy advisor. There's a picture which we have for our, our audience of uh, uh, George Papadopoulos sitting there two seats over from Jeff Sessions at the same table with Donald Trump and other top advisors. That is a high level strategy session. And we have the audio of Trump naming him an important advisor. But here's the real kicker. Here's where it gets fascinating. Carter Page. Carter Page admitted last night when speaking to Chris Hayes on MSNBC, and it appears as though uh, uh, Carter Page is not being advised by any lawyer because why he would even show up and do this interview, I couldn't tell you. Carter Page admitted yesterday to not only being in touch with George Papadopoulos, but to being in touch with George Papadopoulos about Russia. And there is no doubt about Carter Page's connection to both Russia and Donald Trump. And he admitted on national television yesterday that, yeah, he was in touch with Papadopoulos about Russia. Take a look. Were you guys on email chains together, you and Papadopoulos? Look, I, we're, there's a lot of emails all over the place when you're in, uh, in a campaign. <laughs> right, but yes or no, like, were you in email chains with Papadopoulos? Uh, probably a few, yeah. Were you in email chains with him about Russia? It may have come up from time to time. Again, <laughs> you know, there's nothing... Nothing major. Yeah. Nothing major. Well, I mean, nothing major. It was enough for him to lie to federal investigators about it and then plead guilty to that he was having an intermediary come to him and saying, you should come to London and talk to someone who's got Hillary Clinton's emails. Yeah. Nothing major except that, yeah, I was in touch about Russia with the guy whose lies about Russia have gotten him not only arrested and indicted, but all ready to plead guilty. Once Carter Page is involved, the plausible deniability for the top tier of Trump's campaign, including Trump himself, evaporates completely. If Page is even willing to say this or do this interview, there's a couple possibilities. One is, and I believe he said that he's not being actively represented by any attorney, and that shows because this is a crazy interview to do. But it also might indicate that he's cooperating because if he is so willing, let's assume for a second he's smart, and I don't know if Carter Page is smart. If he's smart and he's thinking through, does it really make sense to go on national TV and say these things? It's because he's already cooperating and he is being used 
to go further and further up the chain here. We don't know the answer, but we now have absolute definitive connection between Papadopoulos and Trump to Russia through Carter Page at minimum, if not through more connections that are forthcoming. Send me your thoughts. It's all imploding. I'm on Twitter at D Pacman show is on Twitter at David Pacman show. Today's program is made possible in part by Blue Sky Binary. Have you heard of blockchain? Blockchain's the new trend in technology and on the Internet. And too many people are not aware of both the power and the risks of blockchain technology technology. Some people think it's too complicated. It's too difficult to get into. So people stay away and they miss out on the opportunity to really know about the opportunities that blockchain presents. But it doesn't have to be this way. And the solution is the Blue Sky Binary Blockchain Academy. Blue Sky Binary is a leading financial education and technology company, and they're turning their attention to blockchain. They've launched their blockchain academy to complement their other successful training programs, and they've created a blockchain education course for beginners and active crypto users alike. And in this score uh, course, students will be taken through a series of topics which ultimately will deliver a solid understanding of how blockchain works and help the student realize the current and potential future uses of blockchain blockchain technology. We've talked about some of these on the bonus show and on the program. And the course includes video on demand, online tests, access to a community of traders and blockchain enthusiasts to exchange knowledge and experiences. And you can register now to get a three day free trial that includes access to the first module of the course for you to evaluate the overall quality of the program. And afterwards, it's forty nine and ninety nine a month. You can stop and resume at any point. Check out bluesky dot com slash David to sign up today.